Bead blasting, anodizing, electroplating, powder coating, zinc plating, painting, brushing. How many service finishes do you know? Hello, I'm Sam from Rapid Direct. As we all know, there are many kinds of service finishes for CNC machine parts, which leads to a question. Do you know how to choose the right one for your project? In this video, we will be introducing several common service finishes and their pros and cons. Let's get started. What are the most important service finishes available for CNC machine products? First, you must know that you can always leave a product in its machine state without any service finishing or proposed protecting. This type of finish is known as a machine finish. Since CNC machining can manufacture products with high tolerances and service finishes can affect the path dimension, as machine is the service finish that gives you the best precision. However, the s machine parts are usually dull and will show two marks on their surfaces. A standard s machine part has the surface roughness of 3.2 micrometers or 125 microinches. Luckily, you can reduce the machine texture to 0 0.4, 0 0.8, or 1.6 micrometers for further polishing or smoothing the part. Next is bead blasting. This surface finish relies on small abrasives to create a uniform, smooth texture on the machine component. In this process, parts are bombarded with small spherical media using the compressed air gun. When this happens, the beads remove some material from the machine surface to give a matte or satin finish. As speed blasting removes some material from the past surface, it may affect the past dimensional accuracy. This is the major disadvantage of using this surface finish. Is it possible to avoid? Well, yes. Glass beads also come in different sizes, from relatively coarser ones to very fine ones. Using small size beads and low air pressure could minimize the path dimensional changes. Bead blasting also has several advantages as it is an environmentally friendly process. Beads could be recycled, makes the process cost effective. But for top materials, I will advise that you do not use bead blasting because it may take longer time, which has the cost. Bead blasting is ideal for aesthetic applications, making super for your products that requires good visual qualities. You can use this surface finish for automotive and aircraft parts, prior to painting and anodizing. It is also useful for aluminum materials in medical applications. The next CNC machining surface finish I will discuss is one of the most popular choices, anodizing. It is popular because of the various beneficial features it adds to the machine parts, which we'll be talking about later. But first, let's see how anodizing works. Anodizing is an electrochemical process that works by immersing the metal machine parts into an exit electrolyte bath and electrifying both the part and the solution. As a result, a thin oxidized layer will be added to the part surface. There are two types of anodizing processes for CNC machine parts. The first is type 2 anodizing, also known as sulfuric acid anodizing. Some manufacturers refer it as standard or decorative anodizing. Type 2 anodizing process coatings with up to 25 micrometers in thickness. The coating is uniform and you can dye parts with different colors. Overall, type 2 anodizing creates parts with smooth and aesthetic surfaces and also corrosion resistance features to the component. The other type of anodizing process is type 3 anodizing, also called hot coat anodizing. This type of anodizing produces metal thick oxide coatings of up to 125 micrometers thick. And generally speaking, the standard type 3 anodizing gives 50 micrometers thick. The high density coatings ensure increased wear and corrosion resistance. Therefore, this type of anodizing is ideal for functional applications. However, it requires closer process control, making it more expensive than type 2 anodizing. The major advantages of anodizing is the durable and aesthetic coats. Moreover, you will also benefit from the increased wear and corrosion resistance for high-end engineering applications. Another great advantage is that there is good dimensional control with this surface finish, which means you can easily apply it to small parts and internal cavities. As for the disadvantage, well, not all materials can be anodized. You will have a limited choice of materials. 
like aluminum, titanium, and their alloys. Finally, let's look at the electroplating finish for CNC machine parts. It is also an electrochemical process that develops charged metal particles using electric current in a chemical solution. The positive ions get attracted to the machine parts which are essentially the negative side of the circuit. As the parts goes into the chemical solution, dissolved ions be begin to rise to the component surface. The result is a fast, smooth, and even coating on the surface. Therefore, you can choose this surface finishing process for aesthetic applications. It also has several other benefits in terms of physical and chemical properties. Electroplating improves the corrosion resistance of components and reduces their surface friction, thereby making them more durable. It is also suitable for an extensive range of metals. The most commonly used ones are copper, nickel, gold, and silver. You can use electroplating for both functional and decorative purposes. It is a valuable process in many industries, including electrical industry, automotive industry, etc. As we approach the end of this video, you may wonder if this are the full list of service finishes available for CNC machining parts. Well, these are only the most commonly used ones. Here at the Rapid Direct, we provide a much richer list of service finishes, such as powder coating, passivation, black oxidite, polishing, brushing, painting, post marking, uh, etc. You can learn more about the CNC machining and service finishing services on our website. Okay, that's it. I believe you now have a better understanding of the most common CNC machining service finishes. Whenever you have challenges choosing the right option for your project, remember, Ribbit Direct is here for help. We have a team of experienced engineers who are dedicated to providing you best practices in rapid prototyping and custom manufacturing. Just don't hesitate to contact us. If you find this video enlightening, please like and subscribe our channel for more valuable information. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.